What's up my TBH family and welcome back to Tommy Bites Homestead. about to head into the Sam's Club. Um, you say, you know, my son's not going in with me. He's gonna stay in the car. So we're gonna go in, I gotta get a few items. So it's gonna be a grocery haul video. It's also gonna be a see how the shelves are stocked the day after Christmas um, video as well. So I know the prices are high, but I do need to get a few meats out here. So that's mainly what I'm focusing on is getting my meats and maybe some non-food items so let's get into the video continue to prep continue to get the things that your family needs and i'll see y'all in the next video okay so y'all they have tissue in which is so good to see so on the right that is paper towels um, bounty and the price is not cheap and then over here on the other side you have more toilet paper limit of one still I did notice that a lot of the shoppers had one of each in their cart so I, it will be interesting to see when I come back in about a week or two So this was all the cooking oil that they had in Sam's Club. I had first looked over at Walmart. They had absolutely no big jugs at all. And so the price here is $10.98 and they come two together. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that they had some chicken wings in the drumettes. You see the price, ridiculous, but they had them in. So if you want to get some, grab some now because Super Bowl is coming up. So y'all, I made it home. This is my Sam's Club haul. I'm going to go over real fast what I have because I do have some things that need to go into the freezer. Um, and I do have items that I need to also um, seal them up and get them in the freezer as well. Vacuum seal, that is. Okay, so over here we have the Gatorade. It's 28 in this pack. My son has already opened them up. He went with me, but he didn't go on this, he didn't go on Sam's Club with me though. Okay, so let me back up for the light. 28 of these, because he's working out a lot. He's here till after the new year. Um, I think his dad's gonna start working out, and I definitely am gonna start back working out. And then I've got some grapes right here. And I'll try to put the prices in there. If not, I'll just give you the total of what I spent on this particular haul. Um, yeah. So right here, we got the mixed uh, bell peppers, the sweet ones, as well as the regular bell peppers. And if you hear that noise, that's my husband downstairs um, making the cabinets for my kitchen, for our kitchen. So right here, I got another one of these gain um, to wash clothes in. I don't wash my youngest child's clothes in that. I use the all liquid for the youngest child and because they are skin sensitive. And then I got some fat-free milk right here. I haven't bought milk in so long because I use the shelf-stable milk. Um, but I decided to get that today. Over here, we got the vegetable oil, two in a pack. I already told you uh, that's ridiculous for the amount that you have to pay, the amount you have to pay and how much you get. Then over here, I got some Angus beef fajitas. 
the chicken fajitas, some triple chocolate fudge brownie mix, some loaded baked potato soup. Haven't tried it yet, but I heard it was good. And I got the three packs of bacon. Sweet Baby Ray's two pack. And I got the two pack of the turkey breast. The imitation crab meat. I like making crab salad or just putting them on my salad. Then I got this pack of pork chops right here. You can see the price on that one. That's a lot, so I'm gonna definitely vacuum seal these after I wash and put them in separate bags. Some bananas. Then back here, I got some crumbled bacon bits. I got me some more of the pans. Um, they actually had the wings. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Not excited about what I paid for them because I think I think it was $34. So, But Super Bowl is coming up in February, so get your wings now while they have them in if you plan on doing anything. I didn't do anything last year, but this year I am. And then I got some buffalo hot wings right here. Some orange juice, the two. And then two of the cranberry grape. That's me and my son, we like that. Um, the Jumbo Easy Peel Shrimp. Then back here I have these polar treats right here for the sweet tooth people in the house. I got another pack of the um, pork butt shoulder, whatever you wanna call it. You see the price on that, right? I have another one in the freezer, but I needed to get that because we like to do barbecue, chop barbecue around here. And then I have about three or four packs of the chicken drum eggs. And I tried to get them, they were like 409. I tried not to go over 525 or whatever. So I got that one right there. Then we have the ground beef, the two pack, I think it was $18. Another pack of the legs for $4.88. And then over here, we got the two of the um, 18 eggs. We have some flounder right here, some minced garlic, ranch dressing, paper plates. Needed it, because no one wants to wash dishes in here. Then I got some hot dogs, because I haven't bought hot dogs in a while. So that's a quick meal. Uh, over here, we got the Philly cheesesteaks. And then we got the corn dogs down there. Then I have two, well, I have one pack of these. I meant to get two. One pack of these right here. And you can freeze bread. So I just, while they had it, I said, let me get it. So I got two different packs of these. So I got four right here. And then when I did my Walmart haul, I did get another one as well. Down here, we have potatoes and then we have onions. And I still have some more things that I have to get, but they didn't have it. And that is that seems to be the case with a lot of things they don't have. Um, Walmart didn't have any of the oil that's why i ended up having to get this because i could not find any oil at walmart they had the small bottles for almost uh seven dollars that's just way 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 too much y'all so keep prepping getting the items that you need um i felt bad for the person when i was in the walmart because she kept sneezing and sneezing no not sneezing she kept coughing she could not stop coughing she had to stop what she was doing to she had a mask on, but she had to go back, you know what I'm saying, and get her cough out and then come back. So people are going to work sick, you guys. So please be patient with them when you're in the store and just send prayers for them because, you know, everybody has bills to pay and they have to sacrifice a lot, a lot of things 
um, to make that happen for their family. So y'all take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.